right, we're up against a druid here. Um, I I'm pretty sure Pigpen is likely to be playing um the same here. Uh, and I'm pretty confident I want to be like finding Guff. Uh, so normally against a lot of matchups, like we keep alignment or lunar, but I feel like we don't really want these things. Um. So I'm just trying to hit Guff here, pretty much. Um. So I think it's reasonable to go nature studies here. Uh, we could hit something like, uh, we didn't hit any, actually we take the force of nature here probably. Iron bark is an, honestly not bad um, because you can do it on the Malgo. So it's it's kind of close. I actually think we take the iron bark. Um, it's close. The problem with the five, three two twos is it's not gonna really win you the game. It's not like a glow fly. So. All right, so we have two choices. We could hero power or we could jerry rig here. Um, I think we go jerry rig here because it increases our... It's actually kind of close though. It's a weird one. Um, actually, I'm gonna go hero power here. Um, I'm not sure why, uh, like, but it does... Uh, we don't really want to draw nourish off the top, so... Okay, they've doubled this, okay. They have a lot of nourishes in hand. Ooh, we hit an alignment. We can never play it. So um, I think I'm gonna go hero power again here. Um, this is, we could be, like I said, uh, play this Jerry rig, but um, yeah, so they have a very good hand. If they go overgrowth, we're probably losing this game. Uh, and our next turn play is honestly terrible. Uh, like, I don't know how we win this game, to be honest. Oh, chat, dude, just top deck overgrowth, easy. I'm going overgrowth here to ramp, um, but the reality is, is I can't really go alignment um, unless we draw Anaconda, because uh, it's just like suicide for the most part. Now, all right, this is annoying. Uh, this is a lot of tempo. Um, I don't. This is awkward. Um, so I think this draws me two cards. I'm gonna go this Jerry rig here. And then I'm gonna just play this Umbra all here. Um, I could go coin ramp, which actually feels pretty reasonable. But the reason I'm not going to is in case they go alignment, um, I really wanna have the ramp in hand. Um, cause they could just do a surprise alignment here. They could decide they have a good enough hand. Um, it's hard to say. Our hand's super awkward here. Um, but like, our hand gets really good if we draw Anaconda. So, okay, they're going this. Oh my god, that's so game winning. Um, we're in so much trouble here. Okay, so, this is kind of a must remove. Uh, what I mean by a must remove is, if we do not remove this, we will likely lose the game. I don't like losing the game. So uh, because of that, uh, we have to kill this. Um, because they're just going to play, they can play a bunch of spells and just wreck us. So I think I, I, I don't have enough mana, unfortunately, to play this. This would be a perfect play. But we're one mana short. Feels bad, man. Um, so what I'm going to do here is... Go smite, and I'm gonna save the lunar eclipse here. Uh, I'm gonna go this, uh, and that puts it up to seven eight, and then I hero power and kill this. Now I have the lunar eclipse for later. One more mana, we could do so much. We could have done like duplicate it, but uh, unfortunately, uh, we do not have that one more mana. Over explain why you don't like losing game. I mean, honestly, I don't really know. Uh, do you ever want to, it's reasonable, I could be wrong. I, I just kind of like squeezing the hero power in there, but it, it, it's a very marginal play of going Jerry Rig. It's, it's, if it is affecting your win rate, it's probably like a tenth of a percent, you know? It's not a very important, important decision in my opinion. Unless you have like a key like turn where you want to ramp or something. <laughs> so...
Survival off the top would be really nice here, to be honest. A lot of good top decks. Ooh, Guff, a good top deck. So I could try and squeeze the hero power in here um, because I'm likely not to use all my mana, but I'm not going to. The reason why is it just, like, I could top deck something here. I want to play, like, an Overgrowth. Um, and the, the payoff here for, like, not floating mana is not that good. So, okay, we hit this uh, Nature Studies here. I'm going to play this, see what we hit here. Um, I think uh, it's interesting. We could take Resizing Pouch and, like, get some random-ass 10 drop. Or we could pick Germination. Both are seem like reasonable picks. I think I'm going to pick the Germination here, but this could be a mistake. I'm not really good with the Resizing Pouch, so I'm just that's the main reason I don't want to take it, because I'm just bad at it. Am I dying here? Wait, what are you doing here, buddy? Okay, um... This is an interesting situation here. Um, I'm not really sure... Like, chat, you, you see the, the theme here? I have no idea what to do here. It's so interesting. <laughs> Alright, so... I think I, I, I think I literally just kill these. Um, and once we kill these, the good news is, uh, so I'm going to go that. So because of it, I, I'm just going to, I don't have hand space and I don't really want to use the coin. But I could use the coin. It's an option here. Ooh, actually, I'm going to use the coin here. So, because I'd rather get the draw here. So I'm going to draw a card here, see what we get. We get this worthless piece of crap. Oh, I almost threw the game there, chat. And then I'm going to go Lothar. Uh, Lothar will double trade here. And this will clear the board. So neither of us, so we're kind of at an advantage here, even though they're at low health, because neither of us have smite. So it's a situation where, um, now this is kind of, okay, okay, we can beat this. We can beat this. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Scenarian Ward here. Um, I might have the Germination on this owl. Um, I could Lunar Eclipse it, but it doesn't really do anything. Oh, I could, but uh, I think I'm still going to do this. Oh, wait, I could go Lunar Germination or Scenarian into, ooh, Spammy. Ooh, I kind of like that. Because Spammy is kind of worthless. So, all right, so I'm going to go, uh, that actually is the perfect amount of mana. So I'm going to go Lunar Scenarian. This puts it down to five health. We're going to see if we, like, high roll something here. This is kind of a high roll, to be honest. We, we could YOLO risk it here. Oh, do I YOLO risk it here, chat? Do I YOLO risk it? I feel like I do. I feel like I go for the YOLO risk it here, chat. All right, I'm... All right, so I'm going to YOLO risk it here. I'm going to gain a mana here. I'm going to play the Owl here. Trade. And then I'm going to Germination this. Uh, basically, if one of these hits this, we probably win because it's just so much temp pressure. Oh god, no, not like this, chat. Ooh, ooh. So now we have an overwhelming board. So it's really bad news if you're a pick pen fan here. Because what do they do here? What do they do? They're gonna die. Um we have an out where if they go celestial alignment here, we probably have lethal. But yeah, this is like a way you can win the matchup. It's just high rolling an eight drop. And we've high rolled an eight drop, we're able to duplicate it. It's looking bad if you're a pick pen fan, you know? All right, survival off the top would be lethal here. Ooh, so all right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go moonlit guidance because we could hit a survival. Actually, I'm gonna. I could go Malagos here to try and win next turn, but I think I'm gonna draw a card and try and hit survival. I think that's our easiest chance of winning. All right, we didn't. So let's see if we hit survival here, and we did. Congratulations to us. And that should be a lethal chat. We... That was a pretty good overexplain. Chad, should I overexplain this? I'm gonna do another overexplain uh, for for the YouTube's. So let me have a. I just have content for the weekend. Anyways, 
So, uh, we're up against Mage, it's Babble Dude. What is Babble Dude likely to be playing? Uh, uh, Mizaki Mage. How do you beat Mizaki Mage? You draw Celestial Alignment. Are any of these Celestial Alignment? Nope, we're gonna get rid of them. Alright? Alright, I can't do anything, so I'm gonna end the turn. Uh, you can see the, the, the end turn highlights green. Um, so we had the option to go uh, Moonlit Guidance here. But the thing is, what am I trying to hit for Moonlit Guidance mainly? Either Nate, like Overgrowth or Celestial Alignment, which I both can't play anyways. So I'm going to Hero Power here and go Moonlit Guidance the next turn. Um, I could even wait till turn 4 here and go Solar Moonlit Guidance. Uh, but I think I prefer just going Moonlit Guidance because it gives me the Out of Nature Studies, which is a card we could play this turn. Um... Okay, we hit uh, Overgrowth, which is an interesting... Uh, I think I go uh, Moonlit Guidance here, because we hit Celestial. That's our, our easy win here. Um, so let's see, did we hit Celestial? We did. All right, I'm tanking like I don't have a decision, even though I don't. So now we have Celestial. Uh, their, their, hand, their deck is discounted, which is fantastic for us, because they're all going to go to one mana. So all we do here is we go Overgrowth, and then we play Celestial, and we win the game. So I'm going to ramp here. This puts us up to a whopping 7 mana for next turn. This is a mage's worst nightmare. They have to decide whether they can beat alignment or not. Uh, and then they realize no. But yeah, so they, they could high roll a second Encanter's Flow here, which is the way we can lose. But that being said, dude, I'm freaking going to alignment here. Uh, all day, every day. So we're just going to deny them anything here. Uh, I, I could, like... Assume they have another Encanter's Flow here, but I don't think it's worth it here. Um, so, oh, off the top. Ooh, feels bad, man, chat. So that was very unfortunate. Um, so, okay, I'm going to do something weird here, chat. I'm going to try and hit another uh, another alignment here. Because we can hit alignment number two and win the game. So I'm going to go Lightning Bloom Lunar Eclipse here. So this is going to make our spell when we draw it cost one. And then, see, so did we hit an alignment? We did not. Unlucky. Um, so I'm going to uh, go Lightning Bloom to get more mana. And then I'm going to Solar ramp here gives us a lot of mana but uh, now I'm going to go uh, this oh we hit an alignment we could use on a future turn let's see if we can hit alignment here okay I'm just gonna go alignment anyways chat Even though we're, we're overdrawn, the fact is that all their spells cost one mana now. So even though I, I'm overloaded for next turn, I have a board. Their entire deck costs one. They've used both Encanter's Flows now. So it's just very difficult for them to win. Um, they need some sort of Siphon Soul play. They need something fancy. And we have two more alignments. So it's it's not looking good if you're a Babbledoo fan. Um, it's just Babbledoo fans aren't happy here. So yeah, basically I, I was trying to maximize the chance that we got an alignment. So he has to go in here, um, but like I don't think he can win here. Uh, like he's got a whole deck of one mana stuff. So that second alignment really got us there. Uh, yeah. So he's, he has to like pull off some OTK from hand here. I, yeah, I don't know how. So he has to he has to like time a siphon thing. Uh, to hit one of my guys. It would be a very impressive play by Babel if he pulls off the win here. And, like, if he just... So sometimes he just goes for the board removal, but luckily we have Lothar ready to go. So we should be able to win uh, here even if... Uh, even if he clears our board here. So let's say, like, he, you know, he pulls off a board clear but doesn't lethal us, like I said. Um...
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so tough for him, you know? Okay, let's see if he pulls it off. Am I dead? No, not, not like this chat. Okay, okay, we win. We win, right? All right, overexplain. Uh, we have a very, very good hand. Uh, we have the best two cards, Anaconda and Alignment. Against a Warlock, uh, you go Alignment. Often they'll do something like Colt or Flesh Giants, but with the Anaconda, you're ready to go. So pretty much this hand is like, let's draw some other draw, play Alignment, win the game. Uh, it's a very, very good hand. It's probably the best two cards that we can have in this matchup. So we can't do anything on one. Yeah, overgrowth is like the only way to improve this hand realistically. Yeah, you can see handlock is becoming the more dominant for form of warlock. People are abandoning. Um, I could go moonlit here. I'm just gonna go hero power here. Um, because once again, if I go moonlit next turn, I give myself the out of nature studies, which I'm a fan of. And there's no rush. I don't have a play for turn three here, anyways. So, so I'm gonna go moonlit here. Um, let's see, we hit. Ooh, I think we take Guff here. Um, survival is like good post Celestial, but this Guff allows us to get to, to Celestial. Uh, so we play Guff on four, five, um, and then we can play Celestial the following turn, which is nice. Merry Christmas, y'all get a nurse. <laughs> All right, um, so I have no ca playable cards here, so I'm going to hero power. Uh, there's not much point in hitting there, so I'm going to trade, go face, and I'm going to end turn. So what are we doing next turn? We're going guff next turn, and then we're going alignment. Blessed wing makes switch to the prime gaming. Dude, get on that subtrain. Thanks so much, blessed wing. So what's the five-year plan, chat? Uh, when you go to college, you always need a five-year plan, and same in Hearthstone. So what are we going to do here? We're going to go Guff here. It's going to draw us a card and ramp us, setting us to go alignment. Um, and we're going to alignment, and we're going to play this Owl. And hopefully, that is enough to deny them. So we have to think about, like, Battlegrounds Battlemaster lethals. So, but luckily, because we have the Anaconda, even if they go Colt, we should be fine. Um, and we can do a real power play, and then go Survival. Um, and their deck doesn't have a good way to deal with the giant survival minions so let's oh no dude freaking cold neophyte oh uh, god i don't know why i didn't see this coming i mean i did but like kind of all right so this is bad Ooh, shit the spammy archivist dude that's it's won us so many games okay so our opponent has a one two three and four life minion so i can kill all of them with the the, the file with the body so I'm going to go draw a card here because I have the mana. And I even if they go Colt, I should be able to play alignment next turn. And I'm going to play the spammy Archivist. Now my opponent will go online and complain about this card, about how it's OP. Um, ah, shoot. I know. Dude, it's like Defile is a good card. So our opponent's kind of in shambles here. Uh, they're they're reevaluating their whole life because uh, they just didn't think they had to play around this kind of stuff, and now they're just like questioning the very fabric of existence. Um, so here's a spot where we're going alignment. So it doesn't really matter if we go nurture here, but it's a flex by going gain one mana. You show your you use all your mana, which is, shows that you're a top Hearthstone player. So I'm going to go alignment here. Um, I'm going to trade here. And um, I don't actually think I need to go owl here. It doesn't really do much for us. Um, I think I'd rather have the flexibility to go owl next turn. And hold back information. This two damage is, uh, is not really that important. And we're often going survival. So having an 8-8 uh, is kind of nice.
So I think I might go Solar Survival here. I feel like that's the play. We also could go Solar Nourish. This is interesting. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go the Solar Survival. I think I prefer that. So I'm going to go Anaconda here. And because I'm planning on this, I'm going to go the Sonarian Ward here, here first. Ooh, that's so good. All right, I'm going to go with Nourish for Mana here. Ooh, okay. Um, so... Ooh, I can make a bunch of these, which is kind of good. So... Let's... I don't think they can deal with a, let's, a giant wide... This here, so... Um, I'm going to go Germination on this. Twice, I think. And then I'm going to go uh, Solar Survival. I can't, unfortunately, get the free mana on the other one, but this seems pretty good overall. And let's Nature Studies. Um, I don't think this was really helpful, but we'll take another Survival. Just for the flexing. And now we kill all this. And um, I'm going to hold back this, because I don't think they can even deal with this board, but uh, this looks pretty good. Um, we have a giant board, and remember, they have the Soul Rend. So that would deal, you know, 10 damage to everything here, uh, which they would lose to. And bam! Chat, dude, we only win when we over-explain. Easy.